In this video, I will show you how you can train stable diffusion with custom objects and then generate images based on those objects. Usually for machine learning you would need special hardware, like GPUs with 14 GB of VRAM, which are very expensive. But what if you could train your models on a cloud-based infrastructure, for free? That's exactly what this video is about, so let's see how it works. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video you can find down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. In a previous video I showed you the easiest way how to install stable diffusion on your machine and how to generate images using AI. If you are interested, you can find the link to the video up there or down in the description. In that video we used a pre-trained model and that means that we could generate only objects that were previously trained. This video will demonstrate how you can add your custom objects to the model. So let's see how we can do it. We will use a GitHub repository called Fast Stable Diffusion and this one combines different stable diffusion repositories together with Google Stream Boot into a Google Colab notebook. To open this Google Colab notebook, just scroll up here, this is the file, click on it, and then up here, instead of github.com, we will have only GitHub, and the first part should be, I will paste it in, colab.research.google.com, and then slash GitHub, slash, and so on. Let's open that one, enter. Here we are in Google Colab, this is how it looks like. In a nutshell, Google Colab lets you execute Python code inside your browser, but it's not executed on your machine, instead it is executed on a Jupyter notebook that runs on Google's cloud infrastructure. If you want to know more about Google Colab, then you can find the link down in the description. As you can see, it consists of sections, which then have different parameters that you can fill out, just like a web form. You can execute each section separately, and you can also see the Python code that will be executed in this section. And again, this will be executed on Google's infrastructure, and that means that we can utilize Google's powerful GPUs for free. So let's see how we can run that one. First, I will go to File and save a copy of this notebook to my Google Drive, and I will call it the same Fast Stream Boot. This file is now saved inside my Google Drive. Now, first, let's connect to this Jupyter notebook. Click on Connect. This now created one for us, and now we just need to run the sections one by one. That's also what it says up here. So the first section is mounting the Google Drive, let's run it, I want to permit access, Google Drive is mounted and you can find it actually here, if I go one level up, this is our machine and here under content we have our mounted Google Drive. Let's go with the next section, first we need to set up the environment, let's execute it, alright we have all the Python dependencies, now we want the X formas, this can take some time, also done, then we will need to download the official stable diffusion model, which is hosted on Hugging Face. So we need to insert a Hugging Face token here. That means that you will need a Hugging Face account, which is free. Just go to the website, create an account here, accept the stable diffusion terms, and then you will get your token. I will assume that you already have a token, so I will just copy the link to the token from my cheat sheet, paste it here. Now I will copy my token and paste it here. Alright, download the model. This can take some time. Done. And now comes the interesting part. You will need to take photos of the object that you want to train, upload it to Google Drive and then fill out this form. I already uploaded the photos. This is my Google Drive and I uploaded 21 photos of myself, so I will be the test object. You can upload as many photos as you want, the more you upload, the better. But I will go with these 21 photos, back to Google Colab. Now let's fill this one out. Subject name, I am a person. Then instance name, this will be the identifier. I will write agile dev art. If stable diffusion finds this keyword, then it will know that it needs to generate photos of myself. Then we have the directory with the photos, which is under content, Google Drive, my drive, here it is. Right click on it, copy path, and just paste it here. We have 21 photos. All right, execute this section, run. All right. This next section is optional, so here if you want you can upload images of the subject and this is necessary because the model needs to know what it is currently looking at. Is it looking at a dog, at a cat? In my case the subject is a person. I'm confident that the model knows what a person is, so that's why this field is optional. If it's left empty then it will generate random subject images, in my case this is a person, 
and based on that it will train the model. But if you have images of something that you're not really sure if the model knows what it is, then you can add those subject images here. This is just something that the algorithm needs, in our case we will skip this one. And the next one, start dream booth, will actually train the model. So let's train it, start. This will now take half an hour or so, be patient. Finally done and the trained model is now in my Google Drive. So you can find it in the mapped drive, here it is. You can now download this model to your local machine and execute it there with Stable Diffusion or just use it here in Google Colab in the next step. In this step you can write your instance name, if you leave it empty then it will take the instance from the previous steps, in my case this model here, Agile Dev Art is my instance name. So I will just leave this one empty and start Stable Diffusion with this model. Let's try it out, run. Alright, Stable Diffusion Web UI is now running on this link here, so open it. Click to continue and here it is, this is one of the Stable Diffusion web UIs, we used a similar one in the previous video and this one is still running on our Google Colab instance. Let's try it out, I want to generate a portrait painting of Agile Dev Art, so this is the identifier, dressed as a colonial explorer. I want full torso, also realistic style. And now I will just add a bunch of different artists just to see what will come out, like that. And now since this is a portrait I will increase the height of the image, like that. And I will also check restore faces, because sometimes Stable Diffusion messes up the eyes and this checkbox prevents that. Let's try it out, generate. Alright, interesting. So this is what I would look like, according to Stable Diffusion. Let's try again, generate. Okay, I'm definitely somewhere in Africa here. Interesting. Let's try a few more. Okay, this one... Hmm, I don't know. Does not look like me. Okay. Yeah. Let's try the last one. Well... Alright. Now all of those images are saved to your Google Drive. On your Google Drive there should be an SD folder. And there you have Stable Diffusion, under Output, Text to Image, Images, and here they are. I hope you are excited about Stable Diffusion as I am, especially now when you can train your models as you want for free. And that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.